Hello everybody, this clip is a brief follow-up to the webinar we held together with G-Splines on the 22nd of June 2011. Unfortunately, we didn't have too much time to explain everything and to answer all your questions, so this is something I'm trying to set straight now. A lot of you had some concerns about the planarity of these quads, and something I didn't tell you at the webinar was actually the scale of this object, and this is something like 244 meters tall and these quad faces are 8 meters by 4 meters so these are actually really big we could have subdivided further but the mesh would have been just too dense to display properly for the webinar so in the webinar we dropped off but a 6.6 .6 centimeter difference as the shortest distance between the diagonals of the most skewed face and that applies to these really big panels so it's the value is actually not that tragic when you compare it to the scale of the objects but anyway I'm going to planarize further just so you can see the power of this plugin I will tweak the parameters a bit so I will go to optimization importance I'm going to downgrade surface closeness just a bit so I have a bit more freedom to planarize this. I will keep curve closeness and I will add a bit of original closeness. And this is because I want all these vertices to move as little as possible from their current location just because they look nice. And I'm going to add just a bit of tension in this mesh and a tiny bit of fairness. I'm going to ramp up uh, planarity to 7 and coplanarity to 1. So let's just start to optimize again and see if the result is much better. I will select my mesh and hit optimize. This will take a while. Just remember in the background we have the same reference surface we used at the webinar. This is actually the same file. and you can see the result and we have a lot less red now let's just set the range again and now we are down to 1.5 centimeters as the shortest distance between the diagonals of the most skewed face and these faces are actually pretty big so this value actually it's really good given the size of these panels and I will just do a few more optimization steps just so we can improve this a bit more of course I can just ramp up planarity I'm going to go to 8 and optimize again and the trade-off in planarizing a freeform surface is that you will probably step away just a tiny bit from your original reference surface so that the optimization algorithm will have some freedom in moving those vertices in order to get those uh, quads planner. So let's set the range again and now we're down to 8 millimeters that's the shortest distance between the diagonals of the most skewed face. So we can simply call this a planner because we can cold bend glass for this value actually given the size of these panels. So thanks again for attending the webinar and if you have any questions just use our forum or just email me. Thanks again.